All right, today I'm going to tell you three reasons I like the Canon EOS R for portrait photography based on the image quality that I get, and then three different reasons I like the Canon EOS R for portrait photography based on the actual hardware and the feel of the equipment, the camera itself. All right, and now three reasons why the Canon EOS R is a great portrait lens based on the hardware experience. One is the touch and drag screen. The touch and drag screen on the back, being able to move the focus point with the camera up to my eye, I can slide the thumb in from the right. That area of sensitivity is programmable, so I program it for the right. And then as I'm composing the image the way I want, I can move the focus point to the exact point. The eye in portrait photography for me is key. Therefore, I don't have to recompose the shot. Um, and this is kind of a hard habit to break because I'm used to using pinpoint, uh, autofocus point, and then I'll put it on the subject and then move to recompose to kind of put the subject off center a little, uh, following the rule of thirds maybe. Um, but here I can just have it up to my face and I can recompose by dragging, um, or not, I, can, I don't have to recompose. I can compose as I want it and then move the focus point to the subject. And I found this was a little bit hard to get used to because I'm used to recomposing after I get the, um, the portrait <laughs> composed, then I got to find the focal point, lock it and recompose. You don't have to do that anymore. You just slide the focal point to the eye and snap. That's one touch and drag autofocus a point, ma amazing experience. And another physical feature of just the, the physical experience of this camera that I really love is the weight of the camera. Hello, it's light, it's light. It's a pound and a half, 23 ounces. And so that makes it an enjoyable experience. Shooting portrait photography for two hours, three different locations, it was a joy. The lens is the third physical thing that I like about this camera. It's light, it's 10 ounces too. 35 millimeter RF lens, f1.8. Amazingly sharp, tack sharp, pleasing bokeh, renders uh, the background very, very um, subtle and soft, but uh, makes the image pop but 10 ounces, so the whole camera is like 33 ounces. That's actually the weight of the 50 millimeter RF lens, which is the next lens I have to get. So I know I'm gonna have a trade off when I, I uh, upgrade to that lens, but for right now, the weight of the camera, the weight of the lens, and the touch and drag screen make shooting portraits phenomenally amazing, and it's just a joy. All right. Why do I like it for portrait photography based on image quality? is bokeh, lines, and texture. Texture, lines, and bokeh. So one of the reasons I like the Canon EOS R is just the image quality. So I really liked how it rendered the texture of the portrait session that I did with Nick Smith-Williams. So on this recent photo shoot I did with artist Nick Smith-Williams, I really liked how the Canon EOS R, the 35 RF lens, and also the 85 millimeter EF lens captured the texture of his hair and his beard, his skin, and also uh, the denim jacket uh, with the cotton hoodie that he had. I thought it did a really good job capturing these subtle uh, materials in the light and how they played with the light. So I'll show you some samples of that. Um, and this is really important to me because the subject as an artist, I'm trying to convey his sensibility, his personality, um, almost his demeanor through um, through not just his expression, but the um, the fabrics he's wearing, and also his his hair texture, his skin tones, his skin quality. And so I thought the Canon EOS R really did a good job of capturing that detail. And of course, I was using an off-camera light, which was the Godox V862C. Um, with the Westcott Optical Wide Umbrella. Links below to those products if you're interested in checking them out. And so um, I had the off-camera flash, it was golden hour, and that flash and the camera together both captured the textures of the subject, from his hair to his beard, even when it was kind of split lighting or Rembrandt lighting, and just some of his beard hair was catching the light um, on the dark side. I loved how crisp it was. Um, and rendering that texture and the textures of his denim jacket and his cotton hoodie, his white t-shirt. I just felt that it really did a good job with that detail and I was really pleased. Now I think the Canon 
35 millimeter lens, the RF lens is a little bit crisper and sharper than the 85 millimeter. Um, I can't prove it, but I feel like when I looked, zoomed in on the catch lights on the 35 millimeter, they were a little more um, tighter and crisper. Um, but I love this experience shooting with this, this camera. Second thing is lines. This is super important to me for this um, portrait because Nick is an artist and I wanted the lines behind him, primarily buildings. These were churches we were shooting around, but they were stone buildings and some wood doors that had geometric patterns. And I wanted them to uh, convey a sense of structure and power authority behind him, but I wanted him to pop off of that background. And so what was really interesting to me is I shot with the 85 millimeter lens um, and I found a sweet spot between f3.2 and f6.3 where the structure and the lines um, weren't too blown out or blurred out from the depth of field. They were present, and but they were soft and subtle, but the structure from the background was very, very critical to me and it showed up using that lens with that f-stop range. Bokeh is one of the other reasons. Reason number three that I like the image quality of the Canon EOS R for portraits is the bokeh. And so there's a scene where we're in a kind of natural setting with trees and grass behind him. And I just felt like this soft, fluid, kind of the wrapping around of the background around the subject um, with that depth of field. And so I think the Canon EOS R does a really good job of making the subject pop. There was kind of a fluid, uh, soft, um, kind of rounding of the, the uh, reality or a rounding of the landscape behind him that wrapped the subject around and kind of presented it, helped it pop off the, the screen uh, to the viewer. And so I really like how it, um, it rendered the background in terms of the bokeh and the softening and the rounding of those shapes. Um, but that, yeah, the way that lines came through, awesome. So bokeh, lines, and texture, three reasons why the Canon EOS R is amazing for portrait photography. Yeah.